Hello and welcome back to How About That Crypto. You are watching your daily crypto news and updates with your host, Bitcoin Stylist on Twitter and Bitcoin Hairstylist on Instagram. I'm here Monday through Friday and I explain crypto and Web3 while keeping you up to date on all the latest. Today's news stories are NFTs do have value. And yes, I'm talking about the ones that are just pictures that you can screenshot. These things have bigger value than you or I could have imagined. We have two very cool stories on NFTs. If you have your doubts or are excited about this space, you do not want to miss this. But first, if you like or don't like the content, please let me know by leaving a comment below. If you're listening on podcast, please give me a rating. Five stars is preferable. Follow me too. That helps us. If you're watching on YouTube, please smash the subscribe button, ring the bell. It helps support the channel. It doesn't cost you anything. Just to be clear and litigious, this is not financial advice. This is for entertainment purposes only. You can use the links below to do your own research. My prayers continue to go out to the Ukrainian people and all those affected by this war. Hopefully this is over sooner than later. I have an announcement that I make with every one of these videos. If you find yourself listening and feel like you do not know what I'm talking about, please leave me a comment. Please don't just check out. Also, remember... I also recommend you just keep listening. I make these videos with the intention of layering on top of each other after a week or two of daily listening. You should have a much better understanding. If you do not, please leave a comment or reach out to me privately on Twitter at Bitcoin Stylist. The link is below. Okay, so I talk to people almost every single day. I mean, every day, but like, like I talk to them as like part of my job for every single day. I talk to a big variety of people, but the most common characteristic of the people that I talk to is that they are not convinced that crypto and Web3 have real long lasting value. They don't hate on it. They don't doubt it. They just have not drank the Kool-Aid, so to speak. Now, one of the biggest questions of value in the crypto and Web3 space is NFTs. You can use the link below to watch my video on NFTs. Please excuse the production quality. That was one of my first videos. But just a high level overview, NFTs are non-fungible tokens, NFT. If you go to McDonald's, you open up your wallet and you have $5 in it, you want to use, but you only need one. It doesn't matter which dollar you select because they are fungible. This means that there is no discrepancy between them, except of course, the serial number. Now, if you reached in your pocket and you, and you had a Monet or a Picasso painting, There are only one of each of their paintings. These are non-fungible, as in there is differences between them. McDonald's would need to verify their authenticity, their value, and make sure you own them and did not steal them. So NFTs are actually tokens or certificates of authenticity and ownership. Think of it like a receipt that you own the underlying asset for. Okay, back to my story. Once I tell once I tell all the people that I talk to on a regular basis that have not drank the Kool-Aid yet uh, and they wonder about the real value of NFTs, I tell them about this underlying technology. I The people I talk with every day can see use cases. For example, real estate titles, um, car titles, medical records, luxury goods, receipts, certificates of authenticity, et cetera. And then they usually say, yeah, but what about those screenshot JPG files that everyone's trading like crazy? It is a little ridiculous. I'm like, touche. I've been weary myself. So I joined up with a friend from high school who brought together some other friends from high school and some other people in his community. And we pulled some ETH to buy NFTs. I have been talking with him about NFTs for a while. And I knew he probably knew as much about this space as I know about cryptocurrencies and tokens, which gives me confidence, which yes, means that I have confidence in my understanding of crypto in it and tokens. This gives me confidence. I wanted to be involved and, but I was not, I wasn't going to get involved on my own. So we are the proud owners of a collection piece underneath the board ape umbrella. If you do not what know what the board ape yacht club is, Jimmy Fallon, Snoop Dogg, Paris Hilton, Eminem, Justin Bieber, Madonna, Shaquille O'Neal, and a many other celebrities, tech tycoons, wealthy investors, and early adopters of the technology own them. They all own one, at least one and see value. So the Board Ape Yacht Club is a brand and the NFTs get you access to events, social circles, and act as a status symbol. Think of the most expensive clothing brand, watch, or car. Think of like a Bulgari watch they only made a thousand of. Uh, People buy these things because they are limited production 
They have a perceived, a high perceived value. They are recognized by many and fashion society usually says they're cool. Let us start with a very simple to understand example of how NFTs have utility, which adds to their value as a status symbol and access pass. All right, I am very excited today to share this with you. All right, author Jason Nelson reports for Decrypt, Bored Ape Yacht Club, the themed burger joint debuts in California. Bored and Hungry begins slinging burgers and fries on Saturday with the restaurant accepting Ethereum and ApeCoin as payment. So I've mentioned this was happening in the past. If you've been watching the channel, you might think that this is old news. So it's not old news because the Fast Casual restaurant is now open. It's funny because fast casual used to be fast food, but that doesn't sound as nice. Something I believe that is very important to explain. Not all NFTs come with intellectual property rights. Just because you own an NFT or copyright rights, just because you own an NFT created by an artist does not mean you can put it on clothing and start selling it and making money off of it. The Board Ape Yacht Club was created by Yuga Labs and they gave owners of each NFT IP and copyright rights. So they fully own that piece of artwork, that image. No one else can use it without the owner's express permission that is given to you and is upheld by our copyright laws. This is important because it is like owning a logo of a brand. Like imagine the Nike symbol, but, ima but the difference is that your brand has a community. So imagine if the Nike symbol had a community of Nike symbols in each one was considered under the Nike brands. So every time Nike promoted themselves, all the other brands were getting some sort of notoriety or an exposure. Okay, let's take a moment of silence, just to noodle on, on that copyright and, and intellectual property right stuff. Okay, now on with the story. All right, let me, I'm just going to open this up for you real quick. Oh, it's already open. <laughs> okay. Oh, sorry. This burger joint is in SoCal. Opened up. Bo sorry. Uh, hold on. This burger joint is in o SoCal, Southern California, and uh, opened up Bored and Hungry this weekend. They own Bored Ape number 6184. So let me show you 6184. All right. This is, if you're listening on podcast, you can use the links in the description below if you want to check it out. Or you can just Google Board Ape 6184. All right. So this is not the best one I've seen, but that's just my opinion. And I would like to say in partnership with Houston rapper Bun B's Trill Burgers and Belief Burgers, Board and Hungry calls itself a smash burger themed concept and customers can buy food with Ethereum and ApeCoin. So there's a partnership here already. And, um, and I, when I reported on this last time, one of the owners is in the restaurant business. So this is not just like, oh, let's put this on burgers. And I have no experience with burgers. So they partnered up with some other people and they also have experience. So I'm going to just re show you the other tweet. It says, first restaurant to accept ETH and Ape. We did it. This is a really cool thing. Like you can actually, they figured out how to pay with these coins and these tokens. So there's some sort of payment uh, processing going on or some sort of point of sale. Uh, you can see in the picture, you see the board ape, you see it's been mutated. You see the different, these are mutant apes. This is another brand underneath, another collection underneath the board ape brand. So you have the board ape yacht club, there's 10,000. And then there's the mutant apes, which there is, they, they don't trade for as much money. And then underneath those are the kennel apes, which I'll get into in a second. Okay. So I think they definitely did a great job with branding. Check this out. Look at that branding. Like, I mean, the NFTs look pretty amazing on print. So the artwork is super cool. The community aspect is really what drives all of this. And I just want to show you, share with you. So here you go. Filled with bored ape and mutant ape images, Bored and Hungry is on the busy 7th Street in Long Beach. The line to get in began forming early, early Saturday morning and stretched down the block with cameras clicking and even drones buzzing ahead. Even as the sun beat down on the crowd, the grand opening was a mixture of people of various ages, colors, and genders, all looking to experience the first NFT fast food restaurant. Several people were wearing Bored and Hungry t-shirts. 
another form of revenue right there. I like this point of the diversity in this space. That's good to hear. And I love that there's drones and cameras and everyone wants to just kind of show up. Uh, I also have like a picture of the lines outside. You can see this. It's pretty nuts. A lot of people are interested on opening day. So the, I think they definitely did a great job with branding. The NFTs look pretty amazing on print. I just said that the community aspect of it was, is what drives all this, you know, re, just to repeat that all. And, um, overheard by a person in the line was crypto capitalism and hamburgers what could be more american than that <laughs> i think that's pretty funny anyway all right so this is a three-month pop-up i think that's a great idea to make it a pop-up because i don't know how long these lines will go for and it, the food can be good but like why do you keep going there i mean i guess if you live nearby you could keep going and it's more, it would be more about like traditional businesses that have to be in a certain location and, you know, their or placement within a neighborhood or community because, you know, only for so long people will travel to see this thing. Although I guess it could be a tourist attraction. I don't know, but I think it's a great idea. Uh, no need to run this concept long term. It would be really interesting to see them take over an existing burger joint. They team up with McDonald's or Wendy's or maybe even some other type of burger joint. They can have their own burgers or fries, but people can still order order regular stuff too. What are your thoughts on this? Uh, do you think this is cool? Do you think this is whatever? Uh, please leave a comment below. There is another use case. Bigger brands paying for rights to use these things, like Wendy's putting it on their packages, or like McDonald's does the Monopoly, which I used to love the Monopoly McDonald's stuff where you had like, you could pick, you could collect the pieces. And if you collected all the pieces of a property, you would win prizes. They could do giveaways of other NFTs or, or giveaways of ApeCoin or giveaways of Ethereum. Uh, boom, right there. I think that that's like an aha moment. Like if you think about why wouldn't, you know, Wendy's is in the metaverse. They have a Wendy's verse. Uh, McDonald's is talking about NFTs if they're not already in the metaverse. So these people are, this is a great form of marketing and big boys, big brands can leverage these things. Um, yeah, I mean, just like with Monopoly. I mean, do you see the value now? Because I do. Anyway, leave a thought, leave your thoughts below, uh, leave a comment. I'd like to hear from you. Uh, speaking of bigger brands licensing these NFTs, I have something pretty awesome. Another, the other story here today is author Katarina Mora reports for The Block. Coinbase is launching a Bored Apes themed film trilogy. This is an incredible marketing opportunity for Coinbase. This is also an incredible return on investment for Bored Ape holders. I would also assume this is amazing for Ape Coin holders, but not for me and my group of NFT investors. Our Bored Ape Kennel Club is not eligible. It does say in this article that mutant apes are eligible for series two. Uh, I think it's BS that Bored Apes are not mentioned in this, except for they are not allowed in it. Anyways, Coinbase is offering $10,000 US dollars in ApeCoin or Bitcoin as a licensing fee. I think it's awesome that they're also paying them in crypto, which is probably pretty easy for them. They have a big supply of it on hand. So you're going to get this licensing fee. The license will be recorded on chain, meaning it's recorded on the blockchain, which means no one can change it. I'm assuming this license will only apply to the movies and ads for the movie. I'm sure there's a lot of information involved. Uh, but by putting it on chain, this means that the board ape is sold or transferred. The new owner has to allow that the use is outlined in that license agreement and they don't get paid. The payment is made and that's a one time fee. Maybe royalty should be involved. I don't know. But I think this is interesting because this could, in someone's eyes, diminish the value. In someone else's eyes, having the license means that other people will know of the NFT and may increase demand. So it becomes more popular, becomes well known. You know, one board eight, why is one board eight more valuable than the other? Right now, it's because of the characteristics and the uniqueness of those characteristics. Well, now it could also be that they are in movies and that's why they're more important more valuable and maybe the board ape kennel club that my group owns is going to benefit just like the ape coin we got 
I say this because it increases visibility and in theory may increases demand. Maybe the third series will include a Bored Abe Kennel Club. Maybe. Or maybe we should make a movie with them. If you're listening to, if you, if the crew that I work, I invested with is listening, should we have a, should we have a session where we ponder on this? Okay. Check this out. I want to read something from, for you from this article. This is about the movie. The film is set in the 2020s in a chaotic midtown Manhattan when for the first time, digital goods and services outpaced all other indicators as a measure of value in the market. As the old system crumbles, whole new realms spring forth from the ashes. Enter the DGENs. Yes, DGENs as in degenerates. DGENs, a new class of social adept versed in the constantly reinvented tools of an ever, ever accelerating economy. It goes on. So I think this is super amazing and exciting. Coinbase does not expect a profit from this film, but they have pledged the proceeds to charity. They are more interested in enhancing Web3 and crypto. And I'd like this last paragraph, I think is awesome. The company also said the point of this series is to reward and connect with our communities through projects that bring the ethos of Web3 to life, collaboration, transparency, and opportunity. Boom. What do you think about that? Do you see how NFTs, a simple JPG, has value? Now, imagine <coughs> if someone wanted to take the take you know take advantage of the fact that they could screenshot the board ape and and just and just do with it what they wanted. Well, imagine with all this stuff happening, you know you're going to get sued. So <coughs> it's the same thing as having a logo or like a branded image or a copyrighted slogan. Like you can't just use these things, but anybody else can screenshot them. So the argument that I could just screenshot it is now, in my opinion, out the window. What is your opinion? Do you think that this is awesome? Do you think that this, did, are you convinced? Are you not convinced? Have you been turned? Are you still got some, some, some doubts? please leave a comment below. I want to hear from you. We'd love to have a conversation, maybe even bring you on the show. If you're listening on podcast, please follow, please rate us five stars is preferable. If you're watching on YouTube, please smash the subscribe button, ring the bell. It helps support the channel. It doesn't cost you anything. Have a good day. Hot along.